Since we were just talking about slideshows, I'm going to walk through an example of using a slideshow library on a web page. Now I've created this web page with five images on it, and they're currently displayed just normally down the page. I'd like to use JavaScript to only show one of these images at a time. And I've already written the code to do that, which I'll paste in now and explain. All right, so what do we have here? We have a function named slideshow, which takes a single parameter, a reference to a DOM node. Then inside, we go through all of the DOM nodes children and we hide all of them. Then we call the next slide function. Next slide goes through, hides all of them again, and then sets the current image to visible by changing the CSS display property. It then increments the current image numeric property to make sure that the next time it's called, it'll display the next image. And then at the end, it uses window.setTimeout to call next slide again. And this way it does it after a thousand milliseconds. And that's it, that's how it works. It's okay if you don't quite understand it, just to get the general idea of what's happening. So after I've defined that function, I can use it. And I use it just by passing it a reference to the slideshow div that's on my page. And if I wanted to use it multiple times on my page, I could, because I could call it multiple times and each time I would pass it a reference to a different div that had images inside of it. But what if I wanted to use this code on another web page, or if I wanted other developers to be able to use it on their web page? I could just paste it into my web pages and other developers could paste it into their web pages, but that's not as nice. What's better is if I put it in its own JavaScript file, put that JavaScript file on a server and then bring it in from there. So that is what I've done. I've taken this code and I've uploaded it to a server and now it's basically a library. So let me try using that library. I'm going to delete the code that's in here. And now you can see it's just not working anymore because that slideshow function doesn't exist. And I'm going to add a script tag back, but this time the script tag is going to have the source attribute. And that source attribute is going to point at the location of my library. Ha ha, and it's working again. Very nice. I encourage you to open this URL up in the browser and see what it looks like. It looks pretty much like what I just showed you, but now it's its own JavaScript file, and now I can use it on any web page, and so can any of you. That is the power of a library, a reusable bundle of JavaScript functionality. Now my slideshow library is pretty easy to use because there's only one function I could use, and it only takes one parameter. Other libraries will be more complicated, and you'll have to read the documentation to understand what functions to call and how. But that usually means that the libraries will be more powerful, so it'll be worth it to spend the time learning about those libraries.